Euro Satomi 2014, CMI presents a full range of Cochrane weapon systems. Since 20 years, CMI Defense has developed guns and weapons uh, systems. So we have it presented at a Euro Satori of full range from 20mm to 120mm. And it's important to explain, and that's what I will uh, do for you, the specificity of our uh, systems. The first uh, weapon station that we have developed is an unmanned uh, turret. This product is mainly for the uh, infantry uh, support, so reconnaissance vehicle and fire suppression. Uh, for protections of armor vehicles. It can be equipped with different calibers from 20 to 30 mm, uh, including different types of supplier from Eastern countries or from NATO uh, countries. Now we are moving to a more AV weapon systems. We will introduce our different turrets. Oh, they are all based on the same architecture, which is two main turret, commander and gunner, including a digitized architecture and uh, autoloader systems. These equipments are for uh, mainly infantry uh, fighting vehicles, so infantry support. They have been designed to also be compatible with different types of vehicles. You have here a first example, which is a 90 mm low pressure gun mounted on uh, vehicles 4x4, which have been deployed in uh, different countries. This system is extremely simple but provide a heavy firepower on a very light platform. So this turret is based on the same principle as described for the previous one. It's a two-man turret with autoloader and it incorporates the new generation of uh, gun. This one is a 105 millimeter. What is also interesting is the same turret can accommodate also a 120 millimeter gun with a different, of course, autoloader. So the same crew compartments can, adapt, can be adapted to uh, two types of uh, weapon system. One, the 120, which is more devoted for tank destructions. The second one, which is based on a 105 rifle uh, gun, which is more adapted for multi-purpose. Here we have an example of our 90mm turret, which is also part of the portfolio of CMI uh, weapon system. This is a medium pressure, so very performance system, including panoramic sighting system, uh, which allow for the commander to have uh, observations and intercooler capability. So this system is uh, a fully functional system, but what is also very interesting is that the architecture, the electronic architecture of all our systems allow us to have to use this uh, equipment as an embedded simulator. Two posts, the operator instructor uh, area where the instructor can follow in direct live what is happening. He can adapt the scenario when necessary. From this side, we have the driver because uh, we have not incorporated that in the systems. And the two people which are the two crew members which are in the turrets have directly access to the scenario. Okay, so as you can see, this is a fully functional turret. Here you have the commander and the gunner. They are in a very realistic environment. They can use all the functionality of the turret. They can play with the different functions of the system as in the real environment. So in terms of training, it's absolutely realistic and provide a more efficient way to train uh, your uh, crew. The second point is you benefit of using the same equipment for missions. And when you are not in missions, you can use exactly the same equipment for training of your, equip of your uh, crew. The last point, if you can combine multiple systems together to do not only crew training, but also more tactical level training. You can combine a certain number up to platoon level, battalion level, and that's allow you to make more tactical training for the commander of the different uh, uh, level of uh, uh, in the army. So the simulation system is, has been developed by CMI as a compl complementary offer for its uh, turret systems. And it's really a very important uh, development for the company in order to provide to our customer the most efficient and the most adapted system for supporting their uh, crew in operations, but also when they are in uh, training in their base. CMI Defense is a global company. We are acting on uh, international scales. We are present 
in Belgium where is our headquarters, but we have also a big facility and activity in France. We are also now present in Brazil. We are expanding in uh, Eastern country and mainly in Poland. And now we are expanding also in Asia countries where we have a lot of our customers.